to all my fellow animators out there man there's some exciting news coming from cascadia's team so they've just released their first update of 2025 and it includes some amazing new features so the highlight of this update is the new in-betweening tool with this you only need to create a few frames and cascadia automatically generates the emotion between them this isn't just basic interpolation it generates realistic pause to pause movements directly on your computer this is all locally done the cascadia team recorded hundreds of locomotion animations to create this robust data set and it looks like they used uh, the Xsense motion capture suit to make it really authentic and smooth nice <laughs> that's really cool once the animation is generated you can easily edit it unpack and clean up the frames and utilize the improved auto physics feature and even though this is the first version of in betweening it's already giving some really good results you know with a character being able to move left and right move back and forth run stop turn around and things like this, this is really cool auto posing has also been enhanced providing better control over the character's hips and back without resetting your carefully constructed poses also you no longer have to worry that the pose that you created using point control controller will reset when using auto pausing then you get a pop-up window where you can set auto pausing to activate all the necessary points to preserve the pause they've also enhanced ragdoll animations allowing ragdoll behavior to be applied to multiple characters and even connecting them together this results in really fluid animation that for like hero shots like this helicopter <laughs> In addition, any geometry can now serve as a collider mesh, or you can generate complex meshes from existing geometry, making auto physics even more flexible. There's now a new slider to adjust how much auto physics corrects your animation. This is much needed. <laughs> Lower settings, stay closer to your original animation. It makes for really good animation scenarios. Priority frames can be marked to highlight essential pauses, which is particularly useful all for complex actions like jumps and mid-air rotations. It enables you to tell a story in a really convincing way. Animation baking and unbaking have also been improved, allowing selective adjustments without affecting the entire animation. Then for UI, the enhancements include a context menu accessible via right-click, providing quick access to pivot adjustments and trajectory displays. If you're familiar with previous controls, you can easily revert settings to use hotkeys. They're planning to add more functions to the context menu in the future, but if you're used to moving the pivot with your right mouse button, you can change it back in the viewport input settings. So on the start window, there are already some new updates that they put up there. So make sure you check them out because they have helpful descriptions on the buttons and the menus are designed to streamline your workflow. Okay, thanks for watching. Give these new features a try and let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more Cascadia tutorials coming soon. And thank you so much to all my patrons out there. I truly appreciate your support. Thank you for helping me through all this growth. I'm continually praying for you guys. Please stay safe, dare to dream big, and may we continue to use these tools to harness them to bring our stories to life. So Cascadia is showing some muscle right here. And I think it's going to be awesome for animators and storytellers and filmmakers out there. Much love to each and every one of you. Bye for now.